World Wonders from Arcade Wonders. Lot of wonders on this box. Um, also, not to be confused with It's a Wonderful World, the song or the board game. Yeah, It's a Wonderful World is like, hey, look at me. And then this is like, oh, I don't care if you're It's a Wonderful World. I got World Wonders. Also, you know, there's like, they say there's like seven wonders of the world, but if you ever try to look that up, I can never figure out what the seven wonders of the world are because every time you Google search it, it's like the seven ancient wonders of the world, the seven modern wonders of the world, the seven natural wonders of the world, the seven coolest wonders of the world. Which ones are the wonders? I do, which, if we were making a definitive list, when someone says the seven wonders of the world, what are they? Put it in the comments. I literally don't know what they are. This is a polyomino tile leg game. As you can see, there's a lot of polyominoes right here, but the selling point is boom. These wonders. Ooh, these are like the wonders of the world. Maybe that's why they called it World Wonders. A lot of clever people working in the board game industry. So we got a lot of different wonders that you can add uh, to your, uh, you know, sheet, to your play mat, to your, these are going to get you points and do different things for you. And I love a polyomino tile land game, and this one's getting great reviews, so I'm excited to play it more. Santa's Workshop from Elf Creek Games, and I love Christmas. Oh, I love Christmas, man. I used to get in trouble all of the time during the month of December growing up because I just couldn't focus. I just couldn't focus. Christmas is coming up. How are you supposed to come focus? How are you supposed to focus when you know Christmas is coming up? I am so obsessed with Christmas. It one time got me in trouble with the police because I was in New York City and walking around taking photos with different Christmas trees and uh, somebody walked out of a bank at like 2 a.m. and they had a lovely Christmas tree in the the lobby of the bank and so I snuck in because the door was clo closing quickly I mean the door was closing slowly and so I quickly scooted in to this bank lobby at 2 a.m. and I'll tell you when that security guard came around the corner he was very surprised he was quite surprised that I was in there and I got detained by the police and so this is a game about being elves in Santa's workshop and generally just at the North Pole you can help Santa's reindeer you can do all this different stuff and so it's like a light worker placement game but none of that matters none of the mechanisms matter because this is a game about Christmas and I'm legitimately excited about it Look at all those fun, oh, you get to be those elves, or those elves, or those elves. I've always wanted to be an elf. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, Elf Creek Games, to be the elf I was truly meant to be. I, I am buddy in real life during the month of December. Oh, sure, there's some theme and backstory to Apiary. I don't know any of it because all I know is space bees. Look at it. That's a bee, and it's got a little space helmet on it. Space bees. Space bees? If you're ever feeling uh, sad, just think of space bees because space bees are amazing. I just love that about this. There is a band in uh, Los Angeles named Thumpasaurus, and they have a song where they just yell space barn over and over and so that makes and I think of that when I'm doing it do you want a little bee space bees are you gonna play this game space bees are you gonna win space bees you know that's that's what's going in my head the entire time that I play space bees or also known as apiary this I love this game um, I love it so much that I played it and then I borrowed my friend's copy. I stole his copy to then teach to other people. And now I finally have my own copy. And I'm very excited about that. Because the coolest thing about the game is you have these little workers. Let's find the workers. Look at them. Look at all these little space bees here. And you'll notice they have different numbers on them. And so your workers can bump up in value. You know, you, you can bump yourself off. There's just a lot of bumping, you know? Yeah, is that what the kids do on the dance floor? Bumping? No, it's what gamers do in apiary. Yeah, I've been working as a freelancer ever since I got fired from the castle, you know, just trying to... 
take advantage of the gig economy that we have right now. You know, it's just hard to come across steady work when you're just a creepy little creature. You know, everybody feels weirded out with you being around. So you, it's better to just have like a sort of contract situation in and out. You know, just get the job done and I go on my merry way. I don't know why this game is called Freelancers because that's all I can think of is just somebody freelancing. That's kind of what I do. You know, it's just, this is, uh, I loved, love, love Forgotten Waters a few years ago was this amazing storytelling game and Freelancers is the next game in sort of that crossroads game system where there's an app, there's a lot of voice acting, there's just all this storytelling and it's just a great storytelling game and the, the voice acting is hilarious. Uh, at least it was in Forgotten Waters, so I'm excited uh, to get into this one. You know, maps. We're going to be hearing about stories as we explore, for sure. And, uh, you know, all these all these characters you can be as, and the location books. So there's like a worker placement element where you're going into these different spots and sort of choosing your own adventures. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just really excited to get into this because the voice acting, again, is hilarious. And those actors are freelancers themselves, I'm sure. Those, those are freelance actors. They have been hired to work on the game freelancers. And, you know, they had to write home to their mom and tell them that, Mom, I'm a freelancer working on freelancers. Robot Quest Arena from Wise Wizard Games. And there are definitely robots and arenas in this game, and I'm not really sure why Quest is in the title. So you are a bunch of robots. Uh, you're playing as, uh, as your own robot in this arena, and you're moving around, fighting each other, and there's a light deck building aspect to the game, but one of the things I like about it, I had a chance to play this once before, and one of the things I really like about it is that you get right into the action, you know? There's not like this slow ramp up as you are building up your deck. No, you are fighting right away, and so this really does feel sort of like battle bots the game. And look at these great miniatures! Oh, look at those, so fun! I know that there is like uh, an expansion too where you can get a couple of more miniatures and play this uh, with six players. And so you see, yeah, just a lot of like sort of light deck building, but just action going around fighting each other. And it comes with a squishy cube. You can't get a squishy cube in any other game. So that's why you come to Wise Wizard Games. Squishy cubes. Yeah, I just, I loved, I, I, I watched BattleBots a bunch when I was like a kid, and so this really feels like BattleBots the board game, and I'm excited by it.